have a greater purpose than just living? I think personally that's my point of view. Uh, to me, humankind and consciousness is probably, maybe, the universe taking consciousness of itself. Okay. And so I'm just glad that I'm here for my time, enjoying exploring the universe, seeing everything around me, okay. enjoying life and treat, treat people like... The way you want to be treated. Where, yeah, yeah, the way I want to be treated and make my life uh, the best I can. I'm quite a yeah I'm yeah. quite a simple man I like watchmaking I'm gonna be a watchmaker soon and you like you like watchmaking, watchmaking. okay watchmaking. you like you like yeah. making watch yeah watches clocks and old old so you're clocks. a watchmaker I'm studying watchmaking okay I'm gonna have to use a watchmaker's argument the watchmaker's uh -huh. argument is basically you know if he was walking down a desert uh -huh. and you saw a watch you pick it up uh -huh. do you have a watch on you uh, I don't actually, okay. I'm repairing it. So. No, it's okay. So, so, can you take it off? Sure. So, imagine you're walking down the desert and then you come across this watch, yeah? And this watch, for example, is like this one. So, it's like this, yeah? Okay. You come across this watch. What is the first thing that you would say? Would you say, for example... That's weird. <laughs> yeah, you say, yeah. firstly, you say... The, the fact that you saw the watch or the watch is weird? The fact that the watch is in the desert. Okay, good. So the first thing you'll come across is the watch is weird. Anything else that you'll say about the watch? Like, would you say, for example, there is some kind of a pattern? Well, yeah. I mean, a pattern, you mean... I mean, look, the pattern, there's a pattern, like, for example... Oh, sure, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some kind of pattern. Would you say yeah. there is design? Of course. Would you say that there, there must be a purpose? I know where you're heading. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, uh, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, you or me, if we're walking through that desert together, we didn't go to the factory to see this being made. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you for the watch. Nice watch. <laughs> I have a watch. It's Apple Watch. <laughs> it's more digital, but I like that. That's more nicer. Yeah. So the thing is here that we will acknowledge that that has a designer. Now, some people I ask them and I say, look. How do you know this is designed on my iPhone? They say, we can go to the factory. True, but have you? You believe that it is designed even though you haven't gone to the factory. You say, I can, but you haven't. So it means your disposition already believes that it has a designer and it is designed without you going to the factory. Mm -hmm. So it means it's innate, it's an intuition yeah, that you have. Yeah. So the universe is more complex than the watch. Of course. Um, but I think that, I mean, I understand what you're saying, uh, but to me, having a designer isn't probably the meaning of a lot. For example, a watch, it's more about time than the design itself. You see what I mean? Okay, so it's more about the time, the, the meaning of the time. The meaning of the time you have behind it. Um, but who gives it that meaning? Well, who Some, knows? But the thing is... Have, something but, must have given that meaning. That time. Sure, sure. But uh, the thing to me that I have a problem with in not every religion, but the idea of a paradise and a hell. I really don't like this at all. Okay. The, I mean, Come to I don't okay. like the afterlife. Okay. Meaning of it. Part of it. Why? Because, okay, let's say I'm in heaven. Yeah. Inshallah. Yeah. Together, all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so everything is pure joy and just pure pleasure. Happiness. Pleasure. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. sadness. If there is no frustration, no heart, no struggle, it doesn't mean anything at all. After like, since it's for eternity, yeah. like, I don't know, for about 30 years, personally, I would kill myself. I, I couldn't. Because if I can do anything, whatever I want, everything is just pleasure, something is nothing. How do I know that pleasure is still pleasure when I don't know what is not, what's okay, not pleasure? So that's the reason why we are here. Because it's in this world that we see ugly to know what is beautiful. Yes. We see pain to understand what not being in pain means. Mm -hmm. We see sadness to uh, appreciate happiness. So this world 
is in a nutshell giving you that. Not only that, this world is giving you, it's from God Almighty we believe, which is the creator, that because we believe the universe has to have a designer, a creator. Uh -huh. it, it's, a, it's a necessary, it's necessary for there, there to be a designer. Logically, there's arguments that I can make. If, if you want me to, I can. But yeah. just to answer the hell and heaven question, yeah. is that now hellfire, to me, like you said, for example, you said, I'm in this earth to treat people the way they would, I would want to be treated. Yeah, so you yeah. talk about, for example, the rights of someone else and the rights of yourself. His right is I be good to him. And the right I would like upon him or myself is that he is good to me. What about the right of the one that created us? If I can think about his right, what about the one that created us? Does he not have a right to be acknowledged? Does he not have a right to have a relationship with him? Does he not have a right that we worship him because he's deserving of it? I think that if my designer wanted me to pray for him and appraise him, he wouldn't make me happy by just living my life ignoring him. Say that again, sorry. Sorry, sorry he, my English is weird. No, 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 it's, no, it's good, it's good, no, it's good, it's good. Um, yeah. uh, why is my sorry. life happy now yeah, yeah, yeah. without being with God? Exactly, yeah. Why okay. God should care about me praying and like... No, it's more like, why is God concerned about me praying? Yeah, too? not even that. <laughs> yeah. he, if he was concerned about that, yeah. he designed me. Yeah. I would feel bad. I would feel something. It, but that's the but, point. Yeah, yeah. Why don't I get anything by just living my life the way I, I like? Just... Don't ask. You're asking for trouble now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your, so, so... your life has been good till this day, until you said this. Now all the bad things is going to happen. Okay, okay. No, no, no. no, no. We, don't, we don't believe this. We believe that we're God is joking. destined. Yeah? <clears throat> no, may God always keep you happy. We believe that me, me. true happiness is only in the remembrance of God. There is nothing that you can live in this life that will give you ultimate happiness. Nothing. Reason being, God has created you in this way because the only way you will find happiness is His remembrance. That's the reason why people have existential crises because they live and they're thinking money, party, cars, girls, da da da. And you see these people who are not happy, even the rich. So the question is, is what is happiness? Because we see people who are multi-millionaires to billionaires who are not happy. Sometimes you go to a country which is a, a, a poor country, let's say in Turkey, there are certain poor people there. You look at them, they're more happy. So what is happiness? So to me, you're gone. Oh, so no, 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 what do we define as happiness? Ultimate happiness is to understand and acknowledge your purpose. Why am I here? Where am I going? If these two things are not there, imagine you're on a train and on this train you have everything you want. There is a point of time where you're going to say, okay, well and good, but who put me on this train? Where is this train going? Yeah. This is an existential crisis one will have. Why am I here? Well, see, um, Okay, <laughs> the point with that the train, for example, uh, if I'm in a train and everything is happy, everything is yeah. perfect, what I want, something is weird, I won't stay there, I can't, I can't do that. Personally, I don't like cars, I don't like luxury watches, I don't like, you know... Yeah, I can see you're a simple guy. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just like, you know, for me, happiness is just crafting, making stuff with my hand and like enjoy this. I enjoy this a lot. And okay. uh, I know some people like this, usually some artists and stuff like this, that are really just happy to make what they do. And they're going to be happy for their, their whole life. And some quite old people also uh, have, this, have the same idea sometimes. And so what do you think, for example, of uh, Buddhism? Yeah. That they say that life is a struggle, life is pain. And is. the idea behind that is to find a way to accept pain as life. Well, it is. And like, then to like, find yeah. truth in eternal peace kind of. I'm not a Buddhist, but yeah, yeah. I just read stuff and I'm curious. So for example, in yeah. the Quran, Allah says, you might hate something which is good for you, and you might love something which is bad for you. And there's another verse in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَإِنَّمَا الْأُسْرِ يُسْرَى إِنَّمَا الْأُسْرِ يُسْرَى With hardship comes ease, and verily with hardship comes ease. So in this life, we're not, the reason why people come and say, but why is there hardship, why is there evil, why is this that? This place is like, for example, where are you the most comfortable? Which place is the place where you say, I am the most comfortable here? 
Probably on my bench work, I guess. Yeah, or, or your house. Yeah, no. most people say it's, it's, it's a house. House, yeah. the no, beach. The, yes, home sweet home. Yeah. There is no place like home. Why? Because that is a place where you can do whatever you like. You can walk around naked. It's You're your safe. house. You feel safe. Yeah. You, you can do whatever you like. You don't need to think. Like if I come to his house, he's not going to be as comfortable as if I'm not in his house. It's the same with me and same with you because you can't be yourself. This place. We believe paradise is our house. That is where we are the most comfortable. Now, when we're out of there, we feel uncomfort. We're here. What's going on? Why am I here? What's going on? Why is this happening for? Why is this happening for? So we're in a constant struggle of hardship. And that is going to make us who we are. Mm -hmm. So the point is what? That there has to be a purpose. Your jacket has a purpose. The mics have a purpose. The camera has a purpose. The light has a purpose. Your glasses have a purpose. It is impossible that you, as a complex being, a handsome man, you know, you're a handsome guy here, you know, people can Thank you very that, much. You know, <laughs> Thank you. has no purpose. You must have a purpose. Oh, probably. Well, yeah, answer the question, man, because you asked a very important question. You said, as an artist, yes. I am just happy in producing. Yeah. Right? But then also as an artist, you're someone who observes this a lot because you're inspired uh -huh. by observational information. But then, then don't you ever ask the most beautiful things, like a sunset? Like, don't you ask... That whatever that I'm seeing right now, uh -huh. if there was someone who's created that moment, he's incredibly well to do what he's doing. Oh sure. Well, right? as an artist, you should. Well, I, I think. The mirror. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, for example, I'm thankful to no, to my creator. I guess yeah. I'm thankful to life. I'm thankful to yeah. life itself. Yeah. But where does that come from? Because what are you thanking? This yeah. is the issue here. When you say I am thankful for, we yeah. say okay, what are you thanking? Evolution. Mother Nature, the universe. I'm thankful because to me, paradise is here. That's okay. where I live. Like there's struggle, there's some great thing, and the simple I, the simple work of struggling to through this path yeah. is to me paradise. Like it's true happiness when you you have done something, you finished something. For example, a simple thing when I'm when I feel sad. I feel bad. I do something that has a um, definitive end. Okay. Clean windows. Like, you do it, done. And once it's done, like, you're like, ah, yes, that's great. I've done something. I... Now, to me, it's my paradise. And I'm not very comfortable to. Let's say, if there was an afterlife, I would be so disappointed. Because, really? yeah. Because why are you struggling through all this? No, but the, the, the whole point is that. Yeah. Wouldn't you, if you're struggling for all of this, would you not want a hereafter that is a paradise that you don't struggle anymore? Because if you're struggling here, and then, for example, you are going to have eternal bliss, why would you have a problem with that if this is the yeah. test you're going to be in, and then after that is going to be ease? Yeah. Because, because you've seen the bad. Because there is an end to it. No, no, it's not. It's never ending. No, no, no. It's an end to the misery. The misery has an end. Yes. And that what makes it to me paradise. Like enjoy it because it has an end. If it's eternal, like you don't care anymore about struggle and stuff like this because it's eternal. I mean, not probably because. But the belief is uh -huh. that you will remember the previous life. That's ah, what makes yeah. it so interesting because you will remember what you did before, and you will compare it. You'll be like, whatever pain I went through in this life. The ecstasy of what I'm experiencing now in paradise, I've never experienced. You mean I, I would remember my life here? Yeah, yeah. In fact, there's a narration which is very interesting to you. There's one man, this is a narration, the tradition of the prophet. On a day of judge uh, in paradise, he's going to go to God and he's going to ask God, Oh God, I used to be a farmer. I used to be a farmer, I used to farm. I would like to farm again. And then God's going to say, What? You're here in paradise. Why would you want to farm? He yeah, says, I totally understand that. Yeah, yeah. He says, God, I used to love farming so much. I want to do it again. And then you'll be allowed to do it. Yeah. So that's paradise, like you were saying, only makes sense because you know the opposite or you've experienced glimpses of the opposite of what paradise can be. Well, to me, that the example of the farmer, yeah. to me, it wouldn't work for me. I'll explain it to you why. You can keep continue making watches in paradise. That's <laughs> yeah. what I was trying to say. Yeah, but why <laughs> should I do this in paradise? Like no, no, you don't, you don't need I to. Do, I do like doing it, but if I know that I can do whatever I want the way, the way, whatever, 
the way I want. I don't have like the struggle of um, struggling with physics and mathematics and calculate everything. Yeah, yeah. I can just have anything I want. So, yes, yes, you do. But, 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 but struggling? No, no, no. But the thing is, what you're talking about is the yeah. earthly worries. When yeah, you go yeah. into paradise, there is no earthly yeah. worries. Nobody will come and say, yeah. oh, but I don't know, because in the paradise, it's a whole different realm. You do not desire things that are negative or yeah. tiring. For example, when you, th 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 we are told that when you taste a certain fruit, yeah. it will not be the same taste when you eat it again. Yeah. So it's a whole different paradigm. In that case, but is there not, uh, yeah. sorry. in yeah. that case, yeah. if I don't have the same desires, yeah. wait, wait, wait. if I don't have the same desires yeah. as in this life, yeah. I'm not the same anymore. Yes, so so in a sense what you... And I don't want that. I like the I like the way life is made for me. I like this. If okay. I ever want paradise yeah. and I remember everything, yeah. I would be... Yeah. What we're saying is yeah. everything you like about life yeah. in paradise is just going to be argumented. But See, the thing is... Yeah, Let me yeah, give you yeah. an example. But the thing I like about life yeah. is it's struggle. No, no, but that's what you like it. No, okay, for example, imagine I come and bring you a fruit called... Give me a name, bro. Ma Malu, Malu. Malu, yeah. I bring, I go eat it. Uh -huh. You eat it and you go, bro, this is amazing. Yeah. I am so happy with this. Yeah. And I go, wait, let me give you another one. You're like, no, 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 no. This fruit, I am so happy with this fruit. I go, no, no, but I've got better ones. You're like, I don't want it. I am happy yeah. with this. Now, the only reason you're saying that is because you haven't tasted the other fruit. Now, if I brought you that fruit, you would say, Malu, throw in the bin. Is, is rubbish because what you're in now you think and I'll be honest with you look Alhamdulillah I say in my life it's good is there anything extra that I need not necessarily like Alhamdulillah God has given me a lot of things whatever little I'm happy with that I'm only saying that because there might be another form of should we say ecstasy yeah which I haven't witnessed or tasted or heard or lived which I can't talk about the reason I can't talk about it is because I have never tasted it. I've never had it. When I'm in taste, I'm not just talking about tongue. I never lived it. So therefore, it's like the fruit I give you. You are happy with it and you're a simple guy like you are. I'm just happy with that fruit. Yeah. Another fruit, you're like, no, no. But if I was to give you the other fruit, you'll say, wow. Oh my gosh, I never think it. So paradise is like this. When you go, you're like, oh. So, but before we come to that, yeah. the argument of the watch, I don't want to keep you guys longer, yeah? I know it's what it's called. Imagine you're making a watch and you, Im you see that there is someone in the desert and you know he needs a watch to co uh, collaborate, not to collaborate. There's like basically to find his directions to oh, know yeah. what time it is. You make this watch, you, you put it in front of him, he doesn't see you. He picks up the watch and he throws it and says, what a rubbish thing. How as a watchmaker would you feel? You're like, number one, I saw him lost. I gave him something to benefit and help him. Instead of him looking, appreciating, because when I look at a paint, I appreciate the paint up. Because I'm like, wow, magnificent. This person must be intelligent. They must person be a designer. This person must have a will. So I give attributes to the painter by looking at the paint. So when you're a designer of a watch, I would look at the watch and admire the work and what kind of a person and a creative mind you was. That's why when we look at people like, wow, this man who made the plane, he made a life easy. I can travel from here to there in one hour. But imagine to us when one doesn't acknowledge God, it's as good as looking at his creation and saying, ah, do you get it? <laughs> I get that feeling, for example, yeah. I could compare that to me, yeah. to drugs. Okay. Let's say I smoked weed, I quit, yeah, it was fine. Oh, I'm, I'm going to try cocaine. Ah, even better, why didn't I yes, try yes, that before? Yes. There's heroin, I don't want to touch that. But yeah. people that take it, they're like, man, yes. it's way better yes. than what you have. And it probably is. Probably is. Yes. I don't want that. Why not? Because it's fucking heroin, yes. and I'm gonna, be, I'm not Good. gonna be myself. And, and number one, that. it can harm you. Yeah. Okay. Paradise cannot harm you. Well, the fact is that it, it cannot ha harm me. I can't. You'll go against it yeah. in paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's a rule, there's I cannot. A rule? If there's this rule. Okay, rule. Yeah. And cannot do whatever I want. I cannot harm it myself. And the idea that the fact there is a rule that I cannot harm myself, like, okay, there's something I can do. But you will never have that thought. So when you enter paradise, you will never have the thought yeah. of harming myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it to be hard. Those properties or those attributes yeah. or those thinking process are taken from you. So if you don't, for example, if we take anger from you, you'll never be angry. And you will never miss being angry. 
because you don't need to be angry sometimes. No, 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 I know, but you need to be angry in this world. If yeah. we put you into a different dimension, we say in this dimension nobody is angry. The moment, the moment they step in, they're not angry anymore. They would all live in peace. No one would say, oh, angry. They won't even remember what anger is because the property has been taken away from them. Just quickly, yeah. I was thinking about what you said about I like struggle. Yeah. You know, Muhammad Ali, I yeah, used to say, or my friends, they used to say, I used to go to the gym. Yeah. And I would work so hard that I didn't like doing it. Right? Yeah. They don't the thing, the definition yeah. of pain, no one likes pain, is the hindsight that you like. Yes. As in you've yeah. gone yeah, through yeah, yeah, the yeah, gone through. Yeah. And, and that's what I was trying to say about paradise. Mm. When you're in paradise, you will remember that which mm. preceded the pain, and that's why in hindsight it makes more sense. But in that case, yeah. why in my life here, in my yeah. time here? Should I be worrying about this? Because I've been not, I will not be worrying anymore. So why should now I be? I should, why should I worry about that? It's brought to attention to you. You're going to you're gonna have look in in life. You are bound to be yeah. worried about something. Yeah. Pick yeah. your worries. So what we say is the following: mm -hmm. either you're going to be worried about, for example, how am I going to provide tomorrow? What's going to happen tomorrow? Or like, for example, we have worries as well. Mm. But if God willed it, okay, we, we submit our will to God. When there is not a being involved, for example, how are you going to justify to a person who is born disabled? Because yes. to, to, to yeah. an atheist in worldview, you're born this way. I'm sorry, you know, evolution? Yeah. You're going to die like this? I'm so sorry. With us, we can say there is a greater purpose. You being like this, for example, an eternal paradise. To me, I'll be like, you know what, if that is the case. Now, I'm not saying you can make the argument. It might be a false reality that you're given. But the point is what? We have evidence that God exists. I can make arguments. Number one. Number two, it gives a greater purpose to us. Yeah? And number three, otherwise we have blind processes. That The belief that blind processes gave rise to people like me and you. My nail, my eyes, the way it operates my ear. It is impossible that we came by chance. Impossible. There has to be a designer. Probably there was a designer. Sorry? Probably there was a yeah, designer. Yeah. I never said there is no... No, I no, don't... no, no, no. You said you're more agnostic. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, agnostic. Yeah. I like, I'm interested in this. Yeah. I'm very curious about that. Yeah, that's good. Have you read the Quran before? Uh, I am. I read that thing because uh, I'm interested in what uh, the different Hadith. prayers. Hadith. Hadith. Oh, uh, and um, sorry, Hadith. Hadith. What, what, what do you mean by different prayers? Oh yeah, um, the one in the morning. Oh, Fajr. Uh, yeah, Fajr. Yeah. Oh, you did Fajr. Uh, I just looked at it and oh, just to read it because oh, I'm wow, interested okay. in like all yeah. kind of poems, I guess. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it's some, there's some pretty great thing in it. But oh, it's, it's good. yeah, to oh, yeah. me, I shouldn't be worrying about hell, paradise, my creator. For example, you told me if I go to paradise, I will not be the same. I will remember all my previous life and everything. What happens if I go to hell? Well, yeah, but the thing is, if you go to hell, that God has tried his best to send you guidance uh -huh. and you have rejected that guidance over and over and over again. For example, that Allah says one of his signs, like Allah says in the Quran, uh, in Surah Maida, yeah? Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth and in the alternation of the night and day, there are signs for those people who think. Yeah. So it says that in his creation, there are signs. So if we wake up every morning and we look at the sun and the universe and a galaxy and else, and we say this came from chance we will be accountable because at the end of the day the evidence is in the pudding so it's like you see it you're within yourself uh -huh. there's evidence and for you to say you know what this is by chance there's there will be consequences but we can't say it for uh, this person or that person. i didn't say it was by chance yeah, yeah. Not you what do you do else. what do you do for for example with people who like see that and they're like wow mm. i'm gonna spend all my life researching about that mm -hmm. like knowing about this how yeah, it is yeah, made yeah. like seeing the effect of oh this does this this does this oh that's an effect oh that, that that's yeah. the thing yeah like the scientist point of view of it. Yes. What do you do with that? Is this a rejection of God? But that's the thing is, we believe it's not that eyes are blind. It's oh. the hearts that are blind. There are scientists who research and look into DNA. And yes. they say there is no God, it's evolution. DNA that has more information, a strand of DNA has more information than every single book on this planet. If there is information, there has to be intelligence. So to me, it's like, it's not the eyes that are blind. 
it's the hearts that are blind. Because the same person that looks at the universe says there is no God, is another person that looks at the universe and says how mighty is God. So it's about a person's internal heart. Yeah. So this person changes from black look. There are many okay. people who right, change actually, from yeah. person to person. So what we say is guidance comes from God. Okay. But we have a hadith that says if you walk to God, God will come to you running. Mm. So meaning, if you see a distance between you and God, know that God didn't move an inch. So it's us. So it's just for us, like it's just a self-reflection pondering discussion. Just so thinking and you know what maybe one day say you know what look if you are there guide me i did that like 10 12 years ago i said god i believe there's a purpose i don't know who you are i don't know what you want from me but i'm sincere oh, baby, please guide me to the truth have you ever never if you had, ever do sorry, that if you ever do that sincerely then there is a it's like a covenant between you and god god will send you signs now it's upon you to take the signs or reject it have you ever never had situations where you had like questions like that, I used know. to work in a gay sauna for a year back in Montreal, so yeah, I questioned myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's but, good though, it's good. You're, you're, you know, you're thinking. Yeah. I, I did a lot of bad things, kind of. Yeah. Taking drugs and I, yeah. stuff, but not in an extreme way. I never yeah. harmed anybody. I, yeah. Yeah. Did, I did bad maybe to myself, but not too much. Yeah. <laughs> but it's know, interesting that you yeah. identify as bad. So you have like something like within you telling you that this is probably not good for you. You know, you see that thing, we say that yearning for like beauty and goodness yes. is the yearning so, of paradise. That's what I'm saying. Probably, yeah. But it is within The thing is also, I have a problem, I have a problem, big, big problem with the eternity of it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, think maybe <laughs> I have a problem with the eternity point of view of it. Like, if I go to hell for eternity, in about like five years, I'll be used to it. You will be used to uh, sure, pain in, in if you for like nah. if we do this for like a hundred years, like oh yes, yeah, same as you usual. Know what, you like, know what Allah says in the Quran: we will yeah. increase them in nothing but pain, meaning that it's not going to be like oh I'm getting punished this. No, no, no. Uh -huh. so we're going to do nothing but increase them. Now, but these are for look. These are for people who are evil, who have rejected God, knowing that God is giving a sign. I don't believe you're like that. I believe you're a man. If God gives you a sign, you will take it. Some people, the sign will come. They'll say. I reject it. Why? I'm arrogant. I don't believe you're like that. So I don't put you yeah. into that category. Yeah. I know you seem like a sincere person. Yeah. You seem open-minded. The fact that you come in and talking to me, you could have come and talked to me, you know? But yeah, I don't want to hold you too much. Maybe you need to go. Yeah, I didn't actually, it's just for provoking. But it was nice yeah. talking to you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I like your, you need to teach me the fashion sense. Now, I want to ask you a question.